So just kind of starting off, it's a 3.2 since this cut line, or at least the die line here where it shows the mold, kind of helps with the perspective too. Two point perspective right down the middle there. Gives me a little bit of a way to work. The front kind of has a rectangular beginning with a circular end. And if I had to draw this just as an outline, I'll start off that way. I might find the line, lose the line a little bit. Come back in. And go up there. Wrap this down. And I have this little moment. Now, that's the piece. So then once you have the overall shape, it makes it much easier to do. You can shade it right away with the highlights, the half tone, all the stuff we've talked about, quarter tone, base tone. It makes it pretty easy. Kind of going a little bit of crosshatch here just to show you that those lines also help define the form, depending on if you keep them or not. Again, it's just kind of a subtle drawing. There's not a lot of contrast in the tooth. It's light on light, white against white on the background there. And again, any dark values would probably be at the base to show that it's touching something rather than floating through space here.
Okay. Okay, so there is what they call display model point of purchase of a tooth. Put it all together and 